were given a curve with a, with a cubic equation, which is 2x cubed minus 9x squared plus 7, and we're told to find the first derivative, i.e. dy over dx. So to do that, it's very, very easy. You literally just use a power rule. That is, you look at the power, you drop it down, so it'd be 3 times 2, which is 6, and then x, and subtract the power by 1, you get 2. And the next one, drop the power, so 9 times 2 is 18, minus the power by 1, you get 1, so just x. And if you just have a constant, well, it's 0. And that's it. 6x squared minus 18x. Okay, that's, that's all you do. Now, next question. The point P lies on the curve C. The gradient at point P of the curve is minus 27 over 2. Find the corner of P. Show clear algebraic working. One thing to know about these type of questions is that the, the gradient always refers to dy over dx with these sort of questions. Why? Because dy dx is known as the gradient equation or an expression for the or for or an expression for the gradient so we can instantly say that since they gave us a value at point p the gradient at this point was minus 27 or 2 this means dy dx is equal to this value so let's go ahead and do that right now so using the value of dy dx so x 6x squared minus um, 18x this is equal to minus 27 over 2 now we just have to go ahead and solve so, first thing I'll do for these problems is just multiply by 2 to clear the fraction. So, we're going to have 12x squared minus 36x, and then, sub and then add 27 across, so plus 27. So, now we have a clear quadratic equation. Okay, can we do anything else? Can we simplify this just to make it easier for us? Yes, you can. What I'll do, I'll just divide this now by 3 just to simplify this. So, I'll get 4x squared minus 12x plus 9 equals 0 and I think that's the best you can do now from here we have to actually either solve this using the quadratic formula or factorizing for most people I'll just say use quadratic formula because it's just less headache and less risk now using the general formula we're given a quadratic formula so I'm going to go ahead and input so it's going to be minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a where, where this value is a b and c this means that we've got minus b, so it'll be minus minus 12, so it'll be plus 12, plus minus the square root of, minus 12 squared is 144, minus 4 times a, which is 4, times c, which is 9, all over 2 times a, 2 times 4. Right, so double check the working out and see if you get the same result. So here you should get 12 plus square root. Okay, so my first result, when I use the plus value, I get um, x equals 3 over 2. And now, if I use the negative result, I got, oh yeah, I got 3 over 2. Okay, that makes sense, because why um, the inside here becomes 0. Actually, if you put this in the calculator, you get 0 for the third part. So it's just 12 over 2 times 4, which is 3 over 2. Find the coordinates of p. So for this case, what do we have here now? So since you've got everything you actually need, um, since you've got the x value, now we just need to find the y value. Sorry, that I do sound a bit tired because <laughs> I've just been going through this non-stop. So you just literally plug an x value into the original y equation up here. And let's do it. So be so I'll, I'm going to do it up here actually. So when x equals 3 over 2, and therefore y equals, so plug into the calculator. So just in case, if, if you find this uncomfortable, use 1.5. You can check that on your calculator. So it'd be 2 times 1.5 cubed minus 9 times 1.5 squared plus 7. Okay, let's see. 2 times 1.5 um, cubed minus 9 times 1.5 squared plus 7. And you should get minus 13 over 2. So that's the final coordinate. So it'd be 3 over 2 with minus 13 over 2.